smaller one, which isn't quite so fenced off. I think I just swore on camera. Look down there, Rebecca. Oh my god. Well, if you can. Now, I don't know. All that again. Don't look so disapproving. I'm even going to tap my foot, look. Again. This is Tavistock Canal, Southern Tunnel Portal. I'm like, where? Oh, you're kidding me. Like, it's just there. Gil. <laughs> do you want to do the intro? Hi! That's about all I've got. Is it? Yeah, that's about all okay. I've got. So, <laughs> we've just been up a very big hill. Oh yeah, and look ahead of us. Crikey. Oh yeah. Bit of an impromptu video with, how do I describe this? Some really interesting things that we're going to look at today. So we are in Morwellan Quay in Devon. We're looking at the Tavistock Canal, but we're also not looking at the Tavistock Canal. We're looking at one of the um, offshoots of the Tavistock Canal. And we're climbing this huge great hill. We're not even sure we're in the right area. No, because we've got no service. We've got no so we service. Can't check the map. <laughs> we can't check the OS maps, the app. We should have bought a physical map. That's mistake number one. Yes. Uh, we join you at the top of the hill. So we found where we're going, right Rebecca, but there's a problem. Yeah. Well, it's not a problem, but... What, you mean the map? Yeah. Yeah, they've got this lovely, like, standing stone thing, but the map's on the side right next to the barbed wire. Look, uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> right, context to today's video. Yes, please. <laughs> so, this, we are, we're looking at, but we're not looking at, the Tavistock Canal. Tavistock Canal built 1817 and provided industry from Tavistock down to the Tamar, right? Mm -hmm. It lasted nearly a century long, finished in 1817, started in 1805. The reason it took so long was because we were going to start at its most iconic piece, the Morwell Tunnel, nearly two miles long and therefore nearly 50% the length of the actual canal itself. So it took 13 years to build and that's understandable. But we can't get there because it's all on private land, which is really frustrating because everything at the top of there is on private land. The incline plane, the canal tunnel, the path yep. up to the actual canal, yep. which is really disappointing. So we're gonna to have to work our way around that. What we are gonna do, however, and the reason why we're not looking at Tavistock Canal is we're looking at how it provided water and still does uh, to various industries around here. Now at the moment, it provides hydroelectric for uh, probably a water company down the bottom. Yep. But it also did a lot more than that back in the day. It provided things like mills, uh, wheel pits and that. Mm. Now, if you go slightly off the beaten track, which is where we're going to try and do today in this big forest, there's two old abandoned tunnels that this carried. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go have a look down there and see if we can find them, which is kind of the purpose of this video. But we'll give you some more context as we go down there. Already, I can see a load of masonry, look. That's really cool. So what is that? So again, we're at the water level. Maybe we're just below the water level then. I think these tunnels are going to take some finding. Yeah. Because who knows really what water level we're at. That's obviously the, something like an old mill, maybe. Mm. There was a sign back there, but this isn't... said about a wheel. Isn't, this isn't on that pathway though. Right, let's go have a look. So it looks like, um, without doubt, an old mill, a uh, big wheel, water powered wheel. So presumably the water did come from up there. So we're quite not quite on the right track. Nevertheless, it looks like it's in danger of collapsing because they've put a lot of scaffolding to prop it up. Um, wow, that's one amazing feature along here that was uh, only in place because of the Tavistock Canal and John Taylor's engineering thereafter. Um, let's head back out and along the, let's call it elite. So there's your probably old mine shaft, which is fenced off, lovely, nice and safe. Right in front of me here is another one, which isn't quite so fenced off. Okay, that's another pit in front of me, which isn't fenced off. Right, coming up ahead of us 
is what looks like kind of an embankment over this what we're going to call elite for want of a better word and i think it's going to give us our first clue of what we are looking at today because it does look carved oh look at that rebecca oh wow oh yeah oh, that's amazing it is amazing isn't it oh yeah but that that tells you that's not a tunnel but that tells you we're on the right track all right so let's go through this um I'm going to keep calling it elite, everybody. I'm sorry if that's the wrong word, but this is elite, and it was to the north west of Tavistock Canal, and completely shows you how they manage the water here for different purposes. Oh, now we might have a bit of a problem. We're not going to get across there. That's a little bit of a landslip. But look at that. Right, this isn't the journey's end. Right people, so we are red dot here. We want to get about 500 metres to there, from there to there. We were going along the leet, which is the black line. We're now gonna have to get back onto the green line up the top and see if we can get down that way to the tunnels. You are here. Yep. So, We've got a little way to go yet before the potential for the tunnels and if we can get down the embankment. The view that way is amazing. And you can see why we don't want to go down the embankment here. Okay, I did come a bit lower. <laughs> but I think I'm above the tunnel. Just there, sheer drop down. Just there, all around there, I think that is the tunnel. So this is on top of the tunnel. I can't go any further. It's too sheer drop either side. It's setting my nerves off like nothing else. Um, it's when you realise you have vertigo. Um, so I can't, sometimes I can't even look down there. But obviously, I think the location of the tunnel is right below our feet here. Right, we found the railway incline. So just up there is what they call the steam... What? <laughs> incline steam winder. Right, so that obviously powered the uh, <laughs> the, the, the incline plane for the for the uh, the railway. So the railway obviously came a lot later. We're at the top of the incline, the top of the railway incline. Went down to Morwen Key, and there's an old building just over here. There's a bunch of old. I say masonry. It's more slate. The Obviously the rock around here, the path of the railway goes that way ahead of us, that's very much off the beaten track. In front of us is what is probably an old mine shaft just down there again, because that's deep, we just threw a stone into there, it's flooded. Could be a mine shaft, not sure. So far so good on this yellow route in trying to find the blue route, which should give us access to the canal, which would be great if we could see a bit of it. It was somewhere in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah, and the and the tunnel. Just just to see the portal of the tunnel would be a wonderful thing for us. So let's hope we can do that. We're on the way down the hill now. We were thinking that we were getting a bit antsy. We, we? <laughs> the portal for the tunnel was yeah. over there somewhere in the woods and we were just trying to find a way in. Last half an hour we were trying to find a way into that section of the woods and Rebecca's just seen the um, the portal which is right down there. That is bizarrely a mile and a half, nearly two miles long. There's sluice gates all around here which obviously fed different industries. Massive sluice gate there behind us. You can certainly see why there's no shortage of water on this canal because even now um, water's still coming down off the hills behind us and you can see uh, the steady flow of the canal that way not moving very fast but you can tell that one foot over 1700 foot does give a little bit of a flow to your canal and therefore still uh, it enables a hydroelectric facility just down at Morwellan. What's weird about this whole site is it's very difficult to find your way to this tunnel there, the canal tunnel. 
So ironically we're ending the video from the southwest portal of the Tavistock Canal Tunnel, the Morwell Tunnel that was nearly two miles long. We wanted to start the video there but we couldn't find it from Morwell and Quay. It turns out it's next to the main road <laughs> on someone's driveway. This is someone's driveway because there's some recycling bins just down there. And a letterbox. Yeah, which is very, very strange, doesn't add up, does it? Anyway, <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed today's video. It wasn't exactly what we expected when we started out but we didn't really know what to expect. No. We were looking for the two tunnels in the Leet or the channel, the other side of the hills. <laughs> that was just as dangerous as, as you can imagine. Um, and we ended up actually finding the portal, which we didn't expect to find. Exactly. So we're quite pleased with that. Win-win. Yeah. And it's a good day out. And the sun is out. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so we, we hope you've enjoyed today's little explore. We probably scratched the surface of the industry here, which lasted probably a century from the canal, which then evolved into the, the railway thereafter and the inclines. There's a lot here. And I said, we'll probably just scratch the surface. So if you know more, put some uh, links in the in the description in the yeah. that below. Not description, comment. Comment below. below. <laughs> right, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.